Hello, everyone, and uh, thanks very much indeed for um, joining us here on, uh, on WebEx to talk about the journey to cloud um, with a, a, a particular focus on some of the practical things we need to do and, and indeed a particular focus on um, those of us who already have um, existing infrastructure. This is the agenda. I will start by introducing myself to you. Um, I'm really sorry, you're probably sick and tired of seeing cloud definitions. I will keep mine very, very brief, but um, I think it's important when talking to people about cloud that uh, you, you very quickly think um, in terms of uh, um, what, what they think they're talking about, because occasionally you can be talking about completely different things. Um, I'm going to do the sort of good news, bad news thing on, on cloud, with a, again, with a focus on sort of the, the reality of the infrastructure of most of my clients and and what it's going to take for them to um, really take advantage um, of, 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 of some of the, the real and genuine benefits that, that this cloud computing can offer. I want to very quickly nail uh, my, my views on, on some of the cloud religion um, around um, is private cloud, orthodox cloud, um, and should it, um, should it be called cloud at all? Um, to be honest, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what I get from from this um, mix of technologies, but um, I'll, I'll talk briefly about that. And then I want to focus um, on the journey, um, which naturally starts with figuring out where you are, um, and, and then I want to lead you through um, a number of uh, key waypoints that I perceive as being important steps um, in, in, in this journey towards cloud. And I very, very much hope that, that you guys will submit questions, and there's a little... Um, um, box, um, I believe, on the right-hand side of your screens. Um, and I would be very, very happy to take questions. Um, this presentation is going to be at a relatively high level because um, I can't predict the expertise in my audience. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that there'll be a mixture um, of um, cloud gurus um, and, and, and people who are um, watching this to, 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 to get a handle on what it's going to take. Um, so. Forgive me if you're a guru and I'm stating the obvious, but uh, please feel free to ask me some pointed questions. Um, if I run out of time, I will try my very best to get to, um, um, to get back to you, and I shall probably be blogging this um, as well, so I might blog answers to questions. So, very quick introduction to me. I'm a partner, um, and I'm also the Chief Technology Officer um, at a, a small but beautifully formed analyst and research firm, the Barfoot Group. Um, and as it happens, um, all of our infrastructure um, has now been moved onto the cloud. One of the things I did when I when I took responsibility for the um, 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 technology at, our, uh, at, at, at the Barfoot Group was to uh, um, eliminate um, all of the um, nasty bits of server and hardware we had um, um, knocking around the organisation. So the cloud brings a whole load of benefits to us, and if anyone wants to know um, specifically about those, pop a question in, and I'll be delighted to uh, to, to, to talk about some of our um, experiences as a relatively small company. Prior to becoming an analyst, um, I was a software engineer, so I, I uh, um, ran a banking network in France um, um, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, where I um, had control of a massive 256 kilobits per second's worth of bandwidth, um, which um, seems like not very much given that I now have um, 16 megabits of bandwidth coming into my home, but at the time it felt like loads of bandwidth. Um, I then um, spent um, several years working as a client-server architect, designing very large-scale client-server applications, applications with sort of 15 to 20,000 clients. So I, I, I've had a sort of quite a painful um, grounding in, in what it means to do distributed computing. And, and, and trust me, those of you who've never bought a vinyl record, distributed computing was a lot harder to do in the early 90s than it is today. Um, I spend a lot of my time now thinking about infrastructure and architecture and advising customers on what they need to do in order to, to improve their infrastructure, make it um, more reliable, more available, more, more scalable. Those, those are RAS um, 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 attributes. Um, they also need to make it cost less. And they also need to continue to, to, to keep the promises they're making to, to the business around uh, business agility. So I'm, I come at this from a sort of dual lens. Uh, one is the geek who, who, who loves thinking about distributed computing, and the other one is someone who has to 
um, um, help IT justify some of the investments that they want to make in, in infrastructure improvement and renewal. So very quickly, and I'm not going to dwell on this, my definition of cloud is, is, is um, a pretty um, um, Catholic definition. Um, I'm quite happy that software as a service be, um, um, belong in uh, um, the cloud definition. I'm also happy that platform as a service should belong there too. I have a natural tendency to think more in terms of infrastructure as a service and platform as a service than I do software as a service. But there's a really important lesson that I keep being taught by my customers um, the vast majority of my customers um, tend to define cloud uh, very much as software as a service. So um, whilst I talk about the journey and talk about what we need to do to our infrastructure, actually a lot of my customers are thinking about cheating. I'm simply um, I'm, I'm taking the, uh, the, the helicopter to cloud by, by, by um, engaging software as a service providers who support um, uh, or, or provide their, um, their, their software delivery um, um, from a cloud-like platform. Phew. There you are. You don't have to listen to any more definitions. So good news and bad news. And, and, and you know, there's, um, I did have a slide that had a, a picture of a Kool-Aid packet that had been branded cloud Kool-Aid. There's a lot of um, um, hype and 